Hi there, in this week's episode of Free Falling Through Canvas Apps, we're going to have a bit of fun. I'd like to introduce you to WinCat. WinCat likes to celebrate, especially when their sales team wins opportunities. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to show WinCat for a few seconds when an opportunity is won, and in doing so, we'll learn about a very important control called the timer control. Don't forget that the files for this build, including the app before and after the actions covered in this video, are available for download. Just see the link in the description. First thing we need to do is upload our GIF. We do that the same as we do with any other image. Go to the media library. It's worth noting here that when displayed in the canvas app, this GIF won't loop infinitely. So sometimes when it comes up, it looks like it's frozen. A load of free services out there that you can use to change the loop property to zero which makes it loop infinitely. But I used this one on the bottom of the screen. Now let's add one cat to the canvas. Now you can just insert an image control as you would do with any other image. Then we're going to add a timer to the canvas. Now there's a lot of different properties in the timer. But we're going to be concerned about three. Duration, on timer start and on timer end. Duration is how long in milliseconds we want the timer to run. So we want 5 seconds, so we'll do 5000. If you want the animation to appear for longer, put a bigger duration in there. The next one we're going to look at is on timer start. That's what's going to happen when this timer starts counting up. At the moment it does nothing. We will create a context variable and set its value to true. And for on timer end, you guessed it. We're going to update the context variable to false. And then what we'll do, once we get WinCat in the right place, is change our own visible, or sorry, our visible property to our context variable. Let's preview that and see what it looks like. If we press timer, WinCat displays, reaches five seconds and she disappeared. In order to show our animation, all we have to do is start and stop that timer control. Now this is where things aren't so intuitive. There's no start or stop property in here. There is however an auto start. What the auto start property does is when the screen with the timer control is displayed it will auto start the timer. But also if we were to set the auto start property to true using another control and a context variable it would also start the timer. So let's try and do it from that button. That works fine, the timer runs and it stops at the duration. And then if I navigate away to the previous screen and open up the same screen again, the timer automatically starts and our animation shows. So in order to get around that, we have to change the value of the control, starts the timer back to false straight away. Now we can navigate away from the screen and the timer doesn't restart. So that's the basis of our functionality. Now all we need to do is incorporate that functionality into our Win Opportunity button. So in order to do that, we'll first copy the unselect property of our test button to Notepad and get rid of it. Copy the stuff from our Win button, we'll leave the context variable there. We're going to move that and so now all our win button will do is set the actual revenue value start the timer by setting the auto start function to true through that context variable then set the auto start property to false again and we'll move the functionality that's in our confirm win to our on timer end And just to make that a wee bit easier for another maker or developer to come in and read, I'll just put a wee comment in there, just to say that we've moved the functionality there. And then finally, we'll just hide the timer. And let's just see how that runs. You get one cat celebrating down the bottom, waits for a few seconds and then runs the win opportunity functionality. So in this video we learned how to add an animated GIF to our app. 
Okay, we had a bit of fun in doing so, but animated GIFs used correctly can really improve the user experience, especially when they're shown when the app is doing something in the background, like loading data. In displaying the GIF, we learned about the timer control. We looked at how to start the timer using the auto start property, and how to perform actions when the timer starts and ends by using the on timer start and on timer end properties. That's all for this video. Please feel free to reach out to me and ask any questions or provide feedback regarding any of the videos I've created. Until next time, blue skies.